Yo, what's up everybody? Spencer Premier here, back with another reaction, and in this video, I'm going to be watching the PlayStation 5 review. It just came out about 10 hours ago, and I just wanted to watch it and see what it is. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, but with that being said, let's see what this is all about. All right, got the nice design. I've already seen this. Everybody has. Comment below if you're going to get the PS5 or not. I think I'm going to get it, but not right away because it's super expensive now and it's going to be hard to find. So I'll get it eventually. Will also loom large over its peers. By the way, guys, I'm looking at my phone for this reaction because my audio is messed up on my computer and I can't hear it for some reason, so I'm just going to have to do this for now. But it's fine. to its amazingly fast SSD, but mostly to its truly remarkable new controller, the DualSense. While a good deal of what yeah, comment what you think of the to controller too. Out of I don't know. Out of shiny new hardware may be bottlenecked to some degree by the screen that they own. The PS5's unique DualSense democratizes a next-gen gaming experience for all, delivering that looks really smooth though. Haptic feedback that really needs to be felt to be believed. Yeah, I've heard they've been saying that. You're gonna like feel the controller almost like the vibrations are gonna feel so real. Make no mistake, the I don't know, see. unceremonious nature of the box and packaging is in stark contrast to the PlayStation 5 itself, which is far and away the most flamboyant looking console I've ever owned. Rather than a single shell, the yeah, it looks really nice. Be made up of four separate pieces, a glossy black case sandwiched between a pair of warped matte white plastic. I wish it wasn't like 500 bucks. Stand. I'll happily concede I mean, that's not like a ton. A that's a lot of money, but it's not an insane amount. But it's just going to be really hard to find. Finish to the plates is actually a lot nicer than I feared it would be. I like the home and screen. The sloping vents flanking the strip of glossy black plastic that wraps around the edge of the unit are eye-catching. The problem to my eye is that the gradually widening black strip on the front and the flappy overhanging plastic corners makes the PS5 look a little bit like a piece of luggage that's stuffed too full piece of luggage. Properly. And the irregular curves remind me more I don't of think a it looks like that. Spend a hot summer's day on a car dashboard than a PlayStation. It's obviously Who cares what it looks about? Games or, console, I, I just I said that wrong. Who cares what it even looks like? As long as it plays good. Something designed to sit beneath or beside black televisions, black sound bars, black subwoofers and a generation of black AV equipment and gaming hardware. I don't play these type of games. I play sports games if you watch my channel, so I'm not going to know too much about the gameplay for like Spider-Man and stuff, but I just want to see it. On the front, you'll find access to the Ultra HD Blu-ray optical drive, Got that Blu-ray. Unless you bought the $400 one, I think, the digital one. These buttons can't even see the buttons. Other, but noticeably smaller. So if you're anything like me, there's now hope of not spending an entire generation trying to remember which button is which. On the back, there's the you really spent a generation out, two super speed to USB see which button was which. It literally says internet. on the thing. Unlike the PS4, the PS5 does not feature an optical audio out. The stand is necessary because the misshapen nature of the plate means the PS5. Yeah, it's also different that it stands up now. Without it, it has a pair of small hooks which loosely clutch the back of the PS5 and a rotating base. Sitting flat, the console is simply perched on the stand without any additional. Oh, you can't put it flat. I didn't even know that. Flap around and slip left, right, or even off entirely, but that's something unlikely to frustrate unless you're regularly moving your console from place to place. Positioned vertically, a single screw is required to affix the stand to the console to prevent it from falling out of it. I'm not really interested in this stuff, to be honest. The stand itself and is easy to I guess it's cool to see. Flat screwdriver, I just want to see the gameplay, even though they've already showed it in other Here videos. Aside, there is one element of the PS5 that can't be as easily ignored, and that's the sheer size of it. Positioned vertically, Why is there a banana right stand, next to it? the PS5 is about 40 centimeters tall, or 16 inches. With the stand switched, yeah, that's a lot bigger than the PS4. When positioned horizontally, coming in at around 39 okay, I don't need to know the exact amount of PS5 centimeters laying down. That doesn't do anything. High or four and a half inches at the point where its top plate curls skyward. That's bigger than the grill-sized PS3 or the VCR-like original Xbox One. It's even yeah, bigger than two bigger. original PS4 stacked on top of each other. There are only two bigger white appliances in my house. One washes my clothes and the other keeps my butter cold. The PS5 fits in my furniture, albeit with the subtlety of a Humvee squeezing through a drive through but may not fit in everyone's setup. It's quaint that no, this it'll be fine. People will find a way. Of capsule hotels and K cars, and it's the American console that's more compact by comparison. Yeah, that's not as big as the um, washing machine Xbox or the whatever they call it. Is extremely simple. The PS4 uses the slim PS5 that looks similar to the PS4. The ability to connect your PS4 console you can transfer it, obviously. To transfer saved data, downloaded content, and user information, 
though it doesn't outline the process. For me, the much quicker alternative was plugging in the USB hard drive I've been using as extended storage for my PS4 for several years. It's a cinch, and the PS5 can access your existing digital PS4 games from it instantly. For long time, PlayStation what games does this guy play? PS5 makes it very easy to Those are probably good games. Library and sort between PS5 I'm probably just a noob. Games. Oddly enough, there's a search field for PS3 games too. Like, I've never heard of that empty. game. The PS5 UI doesn't feel wildly removed. But I think they're just trying to show gameplay to him. I know the Spider-Man game's supposed to be good. But it's I just don't play those type of games. Significantly more elegant in a number of ways. Now, a single tap of the PlayStation button in the center of the controller will bring up what Sony has called the Control Center, which is a little like a taskbar on a Windows PC. That's cool. PC. Checking things like current downloads and what friends of yours are online on PS4 requires a bunch of shuffling back and forth, up and down, and left and right through menu icons. The PS5's control center places all that info at our fingertips after one button press. The other key kind of looks like Fall Guys, realistically. Cards, which are also presented on screen when you hit the PlayStation button. Some of these are just fluff, like links to newly published articles about games you're following on PlayStation and recent screenshots, though the activity cards seem to have the potential to be a little more useful. There's slightly frivolous information about how much longer it's estimated you'll need to complete a certain level or task. Hopefully, developers will embrace them as useful the ultimate ways to value. communicate with players oh, I see what they're saying. and not turn them into lists of additional chores. There's other interesting stuff sprinkled throughout the PS5's UI too, though. From a global setting, I don't even understand all the stuff. It's probably just the setting like stuff. The Xbox 360 Same as PS4, but it's probably a bit better, obviously. A game picture in picture while I swear that game looks like Fall Guys. Entirely. I'm not a particularly proficient multitasker, so I can't say I'm very interested in the latter, but the former warms my old school upside down heart. Greatness awaits. One of this generation's most important upgrades is the switch from traditional hard drives to solid state storage drives, dramatically improving loading times across the board and potentially enabling yeah, that's games true. to load in new objects effectively on the fly. What game is that? PS5's SSD can read five and a half. I'm sure everyone watching this knows what that is, is on paper, me, twice I'm just an idiot. The Series X. In practical terms, it means I could go from powering up from a complete shutdown to perched on top of whatever Manhattan building I last left. This is a Spider-Man game. A mere 45 seconds. That still leaves time to tap your toe, but once I was in game, that's actually the time a short amount of time. Selecting a save to load to actually swinging through Spider-Man Miles Morales's open world is basically a blink. After so basically, the loading time is just going to be super short. It's kind of what I expected. It's pretty stunning stuff. I thought that was going to be the game-changing feature of the PS5, but to my surprise, it's not. really the DualSense controller that Oh, yeah, the, the controller. Potential. It may feel fairly similar to the DualShock 4 at first touch, but it didn't take me long to realize it's really an incredibly impressive new beast entirely. Largely the same shade of white as the console itself, the DualSense is just looks a really nice. larger than the DualShock 4 Already and said has that, a though. more premium look, particularly in the translucent buttons which have an almost glass-like appearance. The options and create buttons are also more raised than they are on the DualShock 4, yeah, it's like so the they're same. far easier to find without blindly rubbing your thumb. Oh my gosh, that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The DualSense also it was has easy to find mic, buttons. headsets unnecessary, but it still headset has a 3.5mm jack. jack for those who prefer to use them. The charging port is there like PC. Bluetooth? However, I mean, there was already. The so. Inside that makes all the difference, and the range of haptic feedback the DualSense can provide. It's is probably all like the vibrating and stuff. Nuanced rumble. Because they said it makes you feel like you're actually in the game. The wide spectrum of effects, from almost imperceptible pulsations to massive vibrations. The triggers not only buzz with force feedback like the Xbox One controller, but also fight back and introduce a brand new layer of immersion. It's seriously remarkable. The pre-installed platform right, I'll have to get it and see. is a pretty wonderful tech demo for the DualSense and well worth experimenting with. It's a rich and fabulous demonstration of the new level of feedback the DualSense can output, and an adorable tour through PlayStation's long hardware history to boot. For a hardware generation jump that's currently muddied with a lot of cross-gen content and an overall feeling... Yeah, I'm sorry I don't talk a lot. I don't want to annoy you either. Because I know you guys probably want to watch the video too. For me as a bit of a revelation. I've had to plug it into charge every second day since getting the PS5, but it's worth it. Oh, it has good battery. In the power stakes, there's been a role reversal this generation with Microsoft's new Xbox Series X arriving with Who makes this video? 20% more. Oh, let me check real quick. That said, it's a bit of a um, meaningless figure until we can properly examine how the Series X Oh, and IGN. Five I think I've heard of him. Party games, Make sure to check him out because I am watching his video. Barrier, however, doubling the frame rate to 120 hertz will also be on the cards with certain games should your 4K TV support it. But personally, I suspect I'm going to get a lot more mileage out of the better resolution and lighting effects that players who opt for increased frames may be forced to sacrifice. 
Spider-Man Miles Morales, for instance, has the option to switch between a 30 frames per second fidelity mode with the maximum amount of visual flourishes and a 60 frames per second performance mode without things like ray tracing and other advanced lighting effects and temporal techniques providing a 4K picture from a lower resolution base. Fidelity mode that looks really micro, amazing. Instance, without the slick lighting and Dude, I want to get it right away, but can't. Climax. It's fine. I'll Despite get it. all that horsepower under the hood, the PS5 is impressively silent, and IGN's testing is pegged at a virtually that, that's huge. It's silent. I hate when it's loud. Celsius. My PS4 gets Spider loud a lot. Morales. It's a refreshing change from my current PS4 Pro. Booting up Marvel's Spider-Man on that makes it sound like it's ready to be catapulted off an aircraft. So they're carrier. just gonna show Spider-Man the whole time. Unfortunately, one of the PS5's key strengths. They never show like 2K or anything. SSD it's fine. Is also one of its weaknesses. It may say 825 gigabytes on the box, but that translates to just 667 gigabytes of usable space, which is significantly smaller than the Xbox Series X's 802 gigabytes. Yeah, that's space. true. There's room for maybe a dozen games, and even fewer if they're anything like current generation behemoths like The Last of Us Part Two or GTA V. As I mentioned, you How have you played the last any of external us? hard drive you I know people play GTA, obviously. Continue to play PS4 games but what's the last of us? I've seen a bunch of ads for it, but I don't know what it is. SSD. And while you can open up the top lid of the console to install an additional SSD for more internal space, there are currently no Sony approved drives on the market. PS5 games can be stored on an external HDD, but need to be copied back to the SSD to play. Though the near instantaneous loading times for PS5 games may make this palatable. However, it's worth noting that losing time later to the task of moving stuff around when my SSD... Yeah, you can't, you can't play that many games on PS4 either, though. You should run out of storage, even though there's like a terabyte or whatever it's called. But there's not that much storage. With a launch lineup dominated by games that are also available on PS4, and on the back of a generation already punctuated with incrementally more powerful hardware revisions like the PS4 Pro, the PS5 doesn't quite land as a knockout punch yet, but it's definitely got the power and speed to be a real contender, although the jury's out on the stamina of that tiny 660. Comment down below what you're going to get, the Xbox or the However, PS5. The PS5's well -considered UI and I would definitely get the PS5, even though the Xbox PS5 has like better specs or whatever you want to call it. It's the dual I'm just a PlayStation user. But I used to play Xbox, so I can't really say that. It truly leaves other controllers feeling primitive in comparison all right that's the end of the video comment what you thought and if you enjoyed it and comment if you're gonna get the playstation 5 or the xbox we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers i can't thank you guys enough but with that being said i'm out